This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Pete and Sebastian Show. We are back. How you doing, Sebastian Maniscalco? I'm feeling good, bro. Hip feels good. Ready to have some fun. How are you? Oh, I'm good, man. We're coming off of Father's Day here. I had a Father's Day weekend. I got to tell you, Lana really, really did it up uh, after my Mother's Day debacle and not really getting my wife anything for Mother's Day other than a haphazard uh, card that uh, the yeah, kids uh, made. Uh, she uh, she came to the... <laughs> right it was a food-themed weekend, and wow. it started on Friday. Wow. And uh, Friday, uh, she bought some caviar. I like caviar. So she bought a tin, had some bellinis, creme fraiche. The next day, I love bagels. She got New York City bagels flown in from Gold Belly. <laughs> with <laughs> with uh, beautiful locks. Some liver spread, cream cheese, the whole deal, right? Right, right. Hey, can, can I can I interrupt you? <laughs> or, or, just, or you going doing the whole food monologue first, and then I got to make notes. No, interrupt right. as you I, wish, I, I, man. Well, 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 first of all, with the caviar, is this a, an acquired thing now, or has this been going on for a while? And is it a specific type of fish, the egg of, a, or just any fish egg? It's whale eggs. Whale Get the f whale eggs. Yeah. Each little nugget. Yeah, it's from a, well, it's from. The, the, I mean, a whale I think has a lot of eggs in the in the pouch. Right. It's right. like it's like taking the eggs out of a uh, you know a fertile woman. Now, is this a problem with the uh, environmentalists by any chance? Like, there's a smaller whale population because of caviar. Or there's no sweat with that. Uh, I know that hey, beluga. Listen, I'm not picking sides. I'll tell you that fucking ahead of time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really think about endangered species while I'm <laughs> knocking this down, but I yeah. think there's a shortage. And this actually happened when I was working at the Four mm. Seasons. Beluga caviar. I don't Heard think you. Uh, I don't think you could get it anymore. Okay. In the United States. Russia, they're probably selling it on the street. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> it comes with a fucking ounce of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, is that a type of whale, Belugula? <laughs> Lou? Oh, sorry. We don't have oh, Lou anymore. Man. <laughs> oh, fucking, where are you going, guy? God damn. Dude, what's, <laughs> what's this guy's name? Hank? Hank. <laughs> We barely met him, and then we got into pandemic situation, and now we don't even know the fucking guy. <laughs> so, uh, Hank, put that uh, belugia in the uh, library for uh, words mispronounced. It's beluga. And uh, what did you ask? I was asking, is that a type of whale? I don't, beluga whales, yeah. Oh. Oh, wait. Well, hey, you know. <laughs> I didn't know you know your whales. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, so you got... All right, I hear you though, man. By the time if it makes it to your table, it's not your problem. You know what I mean? If, if you don't want me eating it, then, then, then it shouldn't be able to get here. That's how I it's, feel about. It. Hey, listen, if I like it, it is good. I'm eating it. That's, right. That's just the way it is. All right, man. It's... Now, now these bagels. Do like do they fly in a bunch of the bagels, and then you you go someplace or you place an order someplace in L.A. And you pick them up. It was Lana literally got to call the place in New York and be like, here's my address. I need a dozen. Is it a baker's dozen? If it is, throw in a fucking cinnamon raisin. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Good question. There's a company called Gold Belly yeah. where if you want Lou Malnati's pizza from Chicago, yeah. go on goldbelly.com and you could get it flown to your doorstep and you're eating Lou Malnati's pizza within three days. All right. Oh, okay. This just sounds like one of them food things like what got me for Christmas. Yeah. Day. yeah. Okay. So any favorite food in each city, you could basically have delivered to your doorstep through Gold Belly. Now, right. I forget the name of the, the bagel company in New York that she got these bagels from, but they ship 12 dozen. They ship everything in a box. You open up the box. Next thing you're having a New York City bagel right outside your patio in Los right. Angeles. So. Yeah. 
Nice. It's a, it's a nice. <laughs> pretty cool um, uh, sight. And then uh, last night, I like uh, Crab Claws. She got Joe's Crab Claws from Joe's, which is a restaurant. It's a chain, actually. There's one in uh, Chicago. I think there's one in Las Vegas as well, and a few others are peppered across the country. So she got some Crab Claws. Now, yeah. aside from all that, the best thing about the gift is I woke up yesterday morning, and in the kitchen on a uh, clothesline strewn across the kitchen were about, I don't know, 80, 80 pictures on clothespins of my myself and the family. Ah, oh, nice. So, so it was beautiful. It, it, and beautiful. then she got me a robe and slippers. Wow. The whole thing. It's fucking Christmas? Holy shit. Nice. It was a, it was a beautiful Father's Day. But. Yeah. There's one thing we did yesterday that right. I want to bring up here on the cast. All right. And uh, I think you've done this. As a matter of fact, I know you've done this. Yesterday, we went to the farmer's market. Just myself, Serafina, and my wife. We left Caruso behind because he was napping. Uh, on the way to the farmer's market, I had an idea. I said, why don't we pick up five pizzas and bring it to the local fire department and say happy Father's Day? Wow. Okay. Wow. Now, you you know we've, we've had a problem with fires, right? Yeah. So, Good point, bro. Good point. My visit to the fire station was also a co couple of ulterior motives. One was, let's introduce ourselves, so just in case there's a fire, they start at my house. I feel like every pie you deliver is an extra 10 seconds faster. They're going to get to your fucking house when there's a fire guy. I'm telling you. <laughs> they come once a year to me and donate. They give you that look like if you don't donate, your house will be burning down sometime in January. <laughs> But yeah, nice call. It's weird when you go to the firehouse, though, right? You walk up, you feel like that shit's just going to open up and you're going to get run over by a fucking truck, back it out for a fire. Go, what are you, what are you doing walking on the day? <laughs> All right, where we at? <laughs> I haven't been to a firehouse. Right. Well, I actually was at a firehouse in New York City. I don't know, say it three or four years ago, but the doors were open and you just, and they were kind of cleaning the rig. Yeah. But the doors were shut and I had to go up to the door right. and, and, and ring the bell. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, maybe they're sleeping. They're like, guy, we sleep when we can. What the fuck are you trick or treating? <laughs> like, right. <laughs> But do you call 911 say this isn't a fire? But can you tell the fireman I'm about to knock on the door? I don't want to wake anybody up. <laughs> What's the fascinating? You got the pies? You got five pies in your hand? Five margarita pizzas from Pizana. This isn't like Domino's. This is like the best pizza place in town. All right? Yeah. yeah. I got five pies. I got my daughter. I got my wife. We ring the bell and nothing. No one's coming out. So we do a full lap around the firehouse to see maybe, you know, it's fenced off, but there's a basketball court back there. Maybe, there, you know, maybe I see a basketball fly up in the air and I go, hey, yeah. guy, yeah. I ain't seeing anything. That's funny. I you know, I, I always see that empty hoop. In the back. I, never, I never see the firemen shooting hoops, you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> is it? Now, are you are you when you're doing this uh, perimeter walk? Are you carrying the five pies or are you put? Yeah. Oh God! All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we did the lap and like, all right, and then, and then I even did one of these. I went up to the garage because it, it has like uh, blacked out glass. But if you go up, yeah, you c put your uh, hand there, you could see in, and and the trucks are there. So right. I'm like, all right. I left. I left. <laughs> Did you leave the pies with a note? No. I took the I took the pies. <laughs> yeah. And Lana says, you know, there there is a there's a firehouse actually closer to our house. You just remembered. I said, Oh yeah, let's 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 do that. It's oh. right down the street. Right. So we go up with the pies to the second firehouse. We parked the car. 
ring the bell. Guy comes out. Nice. Uh, I help you? I said, yeah. Um, we just mean, moved whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> Were those exact words? May I help you? Yeah. I. That's aggressive, right? Instead of, hey, how you doing? May, may I help you means... You better have a fucking legitimate reason for me knocking on this motherfucking door. That's how I. <laughs> All right, take it from me. I help you. Ah, oh shit. Hey, older guy, I say maybe yeah. fifty-five, uh, comes to the door, and I said, "Yeah, you know, we just moved into the neighborhood, and uh, we just wanted to drop off some pizzas for Father's Day, and thank you for all your hard work. Uh, I just want to introduce myself and Maniscalco family." And then as I'm saying this, another guy comes out, taller guy, kind of built, probably in his mid-40s. He's like, how you doing? I said, yeah, just telling your buddy here that we're, you know, just new to the neighborhood, getting to know uh, our surroundings. Just wanted to come by and wish you guys a happy father. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you. I said, how's it, how's it going? He goes, yeah, well, you know. Then this guy starts on a, on a, on a rant about fire, right? Nice. You, he, didn't even have to, you didn't even have to wet the whistle, huh? Well, well, I didn't want I didn't want a whole education on how fire moves. He goes, yeah, you know, we've uh, we've had some problems down on Moore Park because if uh, Moore Park catches, that shit's gonna come up north really quick. So what we're trying to do, okay, I, I don't I don't need to know what you guys are doing. I just need to I just need to know when this thing starts. You gotta come to my house, <laughs> right? That's, that's it, man. Although, you know, as you're walking out with your neighbors, one of them's probably rolling up with a Bentley with the keys dangling in his hand. You know, you and your five pies, they're not even going to do a drive by to your house when the shit hits the fan. Right? I yeah. mean, I don't, I don't know. He's telling you the way fire burns to let you know that the shit is so out of control where you live. <laughs> You got to educate yourself because there's a good chance you're going to be running down the side of a mountain with your family. What the fuck? <laughs> so, so the main reason I was there yeah. was to get Serafina on the fire truck. Right? Just to, for them to show. I've heard these stories many a times, specifically from my buddy John, who lives in Texas, that yeah. he's gone to the firehouse with his kids, and they put him on the fire. They put him in the driver's seat. They were the horn, the whole thing, yeah, right? I Sadie, I told you that. If yeah. the garage door's open, we go up. The guy's like, anytime, hop in. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. So, no pies. No pies, even, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, no pies, pilots. and you're you're on the rig. I got five margarita pizzas <laughs> right. in my. Right? <laughs> now, yeah. a, th a third guy comes up, yeah. and he goes, "Hey, you're the comedian." I said, "Yeah." He said, "Oh man, really funny seeing you." That 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 that. Another guy comes up. I said, "Hey, what's going on?" So, the conversation is kind of dwindling. You know, it's coming to an end. Yeah. So I go, what's your guys' names? And then, and then, and then, oh, well, nice to meet you guys. He goes, listen, uh, you know, anytime you guys are in the neighborhood, we don't get a lot of foot traffic, but come on, uh, you know, come come over, we'll take out the rig. And I'm like, we're here. <laughs> we're, we're, take it out. You know, like, uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what the <laughs> fuck are we waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought, I'm thinking, does he say take out the rig like he's going to take it a step further, take a kid for a ride? No, no, or, take or it just, out of the uh, garage. Oh, oh, right. So you're, yeah. you're, you're like, yeah, now it's good, guy. Now it would be good. <laughs> yeah, what are you guys doing? Yeah. You know, like, I'm thinking, shit, did, did maybe they lost a firefighter yesterday in a fire and their morning is death. But, like, if you got a kid in a family that bringing you pizza, don't you go... Come on. They're treating me like a Jehovah's Witness. Then they're not letting me in the door. They, yeah. Right? They, yeah. they got half of the door cracked. <laughs> Are they, maybe they're having all that family over for a Father's Day thing going on inside. <laughs> Who knows, right? I don't know. But you don't even you don't even need the rig brought out. Just l let us check it out in the garage. What, whatever. A dog. Don't you have a dog? <laughs> that, no, no, no. That's that, that we could pet? I am. Um, I, you know. You'd be surprised. I haven't seen a Dalmatian in a fire department in my entire life. <laughs> Have you ever seen one? I've never seen a spotted dog on a fucking fire engine. Not even in a parade. Like, 
<laughs> oh god okay so mm -hmm. i go I, I couldn't i can't believe it i'm like I, I i threw this one out i go i got a son he's one you know he's a little too young yet but you know I, he, oh, no yeah bring him bring him by i'm like get, get, the, get a hose out something is, is, is caruso right next to you when you're saying this no, he was he was not even with us. He was oh sleeping. right 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 right. I was said. telling him. I said I got a son, and they were like, "Bring him uh, by." And uh, I got the daughter. Uh, here. Uh, <laughs> by the way, did you so, go five margaritas? You didn't mix it up at all. I didn't want to mix it up. And let me ask you this: Yeah, in Los Angeles, in a fire zone, how many firefighters do you think are at the firehouse at one time? Well, what's a, I don't know what a fire zone consists of, but I would say, I mean, I would say between five to nine, maybe, maybe I'd say eight, eight is my guess. All right. Yeah. I thought 15 to 20. That's wow. what I thought. I thought, wow. right. you ever watched the, uh, the, the series with Dennis Leary? Um, Rescue the, Me. The, the, Rescue Me. Yeah. Hey, fuck. I, I, they, right. they look like those 30 people deep in that fire station. Oh, well, that's New York City, <laughs> man. That's like Chicago. You're talking about major sky rises. That's a whole different thing. I feel like in L.A., it's more like we just need a lot of guys to f look out for these things. But they're usually small enough that we only need like eight guys to put that shit out. You know, that's that's me. I don't know. I don't know fires. I didn't get that. I didn't bring the pies and get the fucking lecture. <laughs> well, just to give you yeah. an idea of where this fire station is, it's literally right where the fire took place where I had to run up the hill. They're right next to it. So they're in a fire zone. There's four guys there. Guys. Four. You were just saying like two came out, then two more came out. Yeah, that's it. I had the whole firehouse in the... And and, and, and and I thought as I was leaving, I go, okay, maybe there's some guys sleeping. Right. Because one guy made a comment when he saw the pizza. He's like, Jesus, five pizzas, that's a lot. So I'm thinking to myself, you don't got anybody else in this thing? <laughs> what the, the whole crew is in the hallway? That's talking that's, to me? That's insane. That's that, that's a little light. I mean, when you were buying five pizzas, you did not think you were buying a pie and two extra slices per guy. Look at me. Doing mad. Oh right. man! So um, so yeah, I, I get I, yeah, I get in the car right, and this fire station literally sits on top of a mountain, and it's got a view of the ocean. It's beautiful. Oh wow! Because because I went to go pull out, and there's like a do not enter sign right there where you could actually, I guess, where they park their cars, the guys. And I'm going towards it. Lana's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm going to just turn around in their parking lot. It says, do not enter. I go, do not, do not enter. I gave them, I gave them five pies. <laughs> you can park there, guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I park. I go home. Right. Two hours later, I get a notification on my Instagram that somebody tagged me in a photo. So I look at it. It's the fire department Instagram page. Uh -huh. They post a photo, and underneath the photo, they say, thanks to Sebastian for bringing over pizza. I look at the photo. It's the four guys with the pizzas in front of the fire truck that they pulled out for the picture. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! What the fuck? That's my fantastic. My pizzas got the fire truck to come out. Uh, and I'm like, look at this shit. At the show line, I go, oh. the fuck? They took the they took a photo with my pizzas. They probably looked at each other. Whoever said, listen, let us know. We'll pull out the truck, you know? The, after you left, the other guys probably said to him, Tommy, way to keep hitting them with, like, the next time we'll pull out the truck. I, the kid would have been on all afternoon. Good call, good call. <laughs> well, that's good because I thought you were going to tell me that it was something showing the, your license plate going, look out for this guy who went down the driveway he wasn't supposed to hear. No. Nice, bro. That is... 
Listen, you are on their radar. You know what they did after they did that Instagram post? They said, oh, or even after you left, they, one of them said, what? Well, which one? Is he? Yeah, he said the other one. Oh, that one. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I know that. I know that. Already making a mental note, guy. <laughs> Fucking smoke appears. Who gave me pizza? That guy. Boom. <laughs> I don't know. I thought pizza wouldn't be enough, but if they're posting it on Instagram, that sounds like a... Uh, 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 one of those TV shows, like a like a Baywatch version of uh, being a fireman with this view you tell me about. It sounds beautiful up there. I mean, after leaving there, I'm like, you guys need are you guys hiring? I I, I was ready to jump in. Uh, I, uh, they must give that post to guys that like saved other firemen's lives in a fire when they come out with the guy on the shoulder. They're like. You're going up the hill. You're going up the hill. <laughs> Jump. Get out of here. I'm for... <laughs> Man. Anyway. Oh, so. I, they look uh, look like they could get, look in shape, man. Look like they could take care of your mountain for you. Well, one guy, the, the captain was in shape. The other two were, you know, the older guy was a little huh. small and scrawny. I think he might have been a, uh, you know, lifer maybe uh, is kind of looking at retiring. But, uh, I mean. I mean, I told them where I live. I mean, I give them the address, but I told them the vicinity, and they yeah. know they know where it is. I yeah. just, I think I got to make another visit, and I'm thinking maybe I come with a check next time. Yeah, I mean that's not a bad idea, but is it? I mean, is it a donation to the firehouse? I'm sure they got great situation going already. Or do you just outright come and give out hungies all around? No, I'm just like, here, here, guys, you know, like, or, uh, you know, put this in the, whatever, the relief fund for somebody. Yeah. No? I'm, th I'm thinking cash. I'm thinking straight up cash. Well, you just come out to, uh, during Christmas time and you just give envelopes out? I, I don't even know if you, you just go, listen, I think you go up there in like mid-July and go, I, I get so tied up during Christmas time, I forget things. I'm banging them out now. Hey guys, boom! <laughs> Just give each guy like three hundred bucks. Forget. Um, I, what I want to know before you give any money, next time you do have a conversation with one of these guys in a humble sort of a joking around way, I, you should say, "And I know we got a lot of different kinds of uh, stars up and around here, and all. I'm just wondering, you know, if 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 a fire broke out like everywhere around here, is is there a packing order?" <laughs> <laughs> and where am I on that? Where are you packing me? Am I, am I at the bottom of that? Or? Well, no, I, I would like to know. I go, listen, in the last six months, have you had anybody come up here with any offerings? Yeah. Like, if he goes, oh, yeah, no, The Rock was up here. He dropped off, uh, you know, uh, 10 grand. <laughs> Right, right. And, and told us, you know, that to, to have a Fourth of July party on him. <laughs> Shit! If that's the case, they gotta fire him and just stand it next to the Rock's house with a fucking hose, twenty four hours like this. That's what that's what the Rock is getting, bro. You need to get a giant water tank put into your property with a fire hydrant, and just hire your own two guys. 24 7 you one is on one's off like how you have a lawn service you have your own personal fire department you they they work for you and 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 they and they're not gonna go fucking next door and save so-and-so's house they're only my guys go ahead i have a fire hydrant on the property wow well, no that <laughs> was that is that just by luck? How, how, no, it was, you got came with it. It came with it. All right. Oh, man. So, Somebody, so bro, yeah. I, I'm i thinking of buying my own fire hose and just hooking it up to the hydrant. I'll fight the fire. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> uh. <laughs> Until they come. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 oh, that's that's not a bad idea. Maybe you could get some sort of a T adaption, like so, like you could have one like section going. So when they come, you could be like, "I started." There's a hookup for you. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I could just do a handoff. 
They go, yeah, I got the living room. <laughs> you don't want to redo what I did. You just be fucking re soaking. We're good over here. Can you imagine if you really did have your own? And you already put it out, so they're coming down, and you're doing the wave. Like, go, go to the next block. I got this. Now, what, what's going to happen? That's just a decoration. Let's be honest, bro. All right? It's city property. You're not going to hook up to that shit. What you need to do is see if you can bring in your own plumber off the fucking racket, off the grid, and be like, is there a way to dig into my backyard, tap into that hydrant? So in my backyard, I have my own hookup. So they don't even know in the front yard that I'm spraying the whole fucking back of the mountain in the backyard, right? <laughs> no, it isn't. Yeah. You bring up a good point. First of all, it's a working fire hydrant. It's on the property yeah. because it's just, it makes sense, number one. Right. Number two, can you hire, can I go back to the fireplace and go, listen, is there anybody I could hire here to personally fight the fire at my house just in case shit goes down? Let's say let's say it's Tuesday. Right. Guys the guys got off. My guys got off. Fire breaks out. And it's his day off. Well, I mean me, your guy. I hire a personal firefighter. You got a three team guys. So you have one guy on all times at all times, bro. It's kind of cash. <laughs> wait, wait. You're Just, saying how a, great does uh, that sound? That sounds cool than saying you have a fucking private jet. You're like, bro, I got my own fire department. What? Yeah, I got, I got three dudes, Ted, Bill, and uh, Karen. You got to have a chick. Who are we kidding? And uh, they work out the schedule. They have a uh, there's a, a room at my house. You know, on the grounds, it's for the fire person. And you, there is always somebody sleeping in there. And when they're awake, they're looking out over the mountain with binoculars, <laughs> just watching for a fire. <laughs> All you got to do is match the salary they're getting around the bend anyway. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want them living on the property, but I want, like, hey, we... Listen, can you imagine yeah. Yeah. if if what happened to me last week and I'm at the bottom of the hill, right? Uh, yeah. And they said there's a fire and I calmly go, oh, let me just call my fire department. They'll be over in two minutes. Right. And <laughs> and I don't have to run up the hill. They're just there. I'll buy the hoses. I'll buy the oxygen tank. I'll buy the helmets. I'll buy whatever they got. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bro, by the way, your team is going to be so good. Your team is going to be calling the fire department saying, it's already out. We put it out. Don't even come. <laughs> right? Unis, the uniforms, the whole thing, man. I, 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 that's, you know, if not that, at least look out. Just a lookout. That's what your, your whole neighborhood seems to need to chip in for a tower. And just collectively, the whole neighborhood chips in for a guy to be up there with a yeah, yeah, yeah. Step ahead of you. Right, right. I'm gonna put two uh, infrared heat cameras detecting heat, and I'm pointing them out into the mountain area where the brush is. So half a bit while we're sleeping, this thing detects heat. And gives you a notification that if a fire starts, it goes right to your iPhone and it tells you there's a, there's a heat notification about a mile away. Wow. What does it do? Just like a, a wave back and forth constantly? It's just, it's a camera that has, you know, that, that beams out and it just basically detects heat. Any kind of heat? Like, uh... It could detect human body heat, human body but heat. most <laughs> there's like no humans co <laughs> there's no humans coming up that mountain. Believe me. Well, if they were, you know, they're Italian because it'd be like something's coming up the hill at ninety nine point seven degrees. <laughs> 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 it's got to be a hot blooded Italian. So, but like it'll point out a wild cougar or a mountain lion, anything, right? But it's yeah, only yeah. Wow. Now, now wow. 
That's unbelievable, man. That's that's so, uh So that's where I'm going. Hey, well, after this last two two incidents, I got to like I got to equip myself with uh, with this, the fire department. But isn't this not even fire season? Or is it fire season? Uh I listen, I I don't know exactly when it starts, but it's dry and there's no rain, so anytime yeah. that's happening, it's it's ripe for a, a kindling. Well, that's isn't that interesting? Like, you know, has there been talk of the whole town shipping in for like twenty helicopters to do a drive by and and just dump water? It's another thing. You're on your own here. It's not like you call up your neighbors and you go, "Hey, you want to pitch in on a helicopter?" It's you have to be responsible for your own property. If that's getting your own personal fire department. Or yeah. getting a helicopter that comes in with a right. boatload oh. of water, just dumps it on your house. <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, you're not calling up. Just <laughs> going. So I did the numbers for the helicopters. It's gonna come out to this much each. If we all chip in, if something. That's an edit, by the way. Right? I think I don't know if you mentioned that person's name on the one in the past, or if you just told me. I don't. That. I don't know if I did. Sorry. Um. Uh, that's okay. All right. The yeah, could you imagine you sitting there and helicopter the whole neighborhood's on fire, right? Yeah. And a hel and a helicopter comes in with water and it just goes over my house and then leaves and the rest of the neighbors are going, What the what the hell what the hell is that? And I go I asked you guys if you wanted to chip in. So, <laughs> <laughs> you think that stings? He's coming back. He just keeps going hey, to the ocean some, to scoop up more. Some happened with your uh, microphone. Your microphone. Test. Test. Oh, yeah, that, that's better. That's better. Oh, all right. Okay. That's like what? <laughs> I said the most awkward part. You're looking at them going, "Hey, he's coming back. He's doing <laughs> scoop ups in the Pacific Ocean, man." They have. A, a machine that does that it scoops up ocean water, bro. Yeah. You go, I, I paid him for 20, 20 drops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. They got to do yeah. something about that shit, man. That's funny. So yeah. that was my day yeah. yesterday. What uh, what'd you guys end uh, up doing? Uh, well, uh, I had a great Father's Day, too, man. I, I, you know, but before I get into that, I got to ask you, mm. hanging out with Jackie late night last night, Father's Day night, like I said, had a great day with my wife and daughter. Um, uh, Rocky Balboa, the film. Did you ever see this thing? <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, I didn't know it existed, you know, so, so you got that going. But um, anyway... You got to tell me how it ended. I almost got to the end. I didn't get quite to the end, but I, I, it was not that great. Of course, we all know. But I wanted to bring up Italian take. This is the one where it starts out. Adrian had passed away, right? Yeah. And uh, they, they, there was a lot of rough Stallone monologues in this thing. But anyway, nevertheless, uh, he goes to see her at the grave. He brings his own folding chair. <laughs> what is your take on bringing your own chair to hang out at the tombstone? <laughs> I mean, even if I was dead, I'd be like, guy, get the fucking chair out of here. You're white trashing up my whole situation. It was a nice fold chair where you couldn't, you know, like, oh, so it was only just a little round for your, for your behind. And it was, so it was classy, easy to carry, not making a big scene. But nevertheless... Uh, you have, you think you could do that? You think that's allowed? First of all, yeah. not only do I love the, the idea yeah. of bringing your own furniture to the cemetery, but I'd go a step further and bring a small side table with a little cheese plate. Whoa. That's now. I, I now, now you got me thinking. I should go to my grandfather's and bring a little espresso and a thermos, and do a little hang. But, <laughs> I, but I, I mean, 
Are you any, but are you any closer to the person than if you just have that uh, cheese plate in your backyard and think about them and look at photos? I don't know. I don't want to get uh, ph philosophical mm. here, but... No, I mean, listen, I think, uh, you know, to go there, sit down at the site, and just share a little uh, little Parmesan <laughs> with, uh, with <laughs> yourself. <laughs> but... But, uh, yeah, I think the chair is a way to go. I mean, you don't know how long you're going to be there. What are you going to do, stand? What if you want to sit and talk to them or, or what what have you? You whip the chair out, and I think that's it. Right. I think he did right. it, though, more as a character choice because he was an older. Did he, wait a minute. Does he fight in this one? Well, yeah, he owns a bar, and then he ends up he's supposed to do an exhibition fight with this guy who's the current heavyweight champ because everyone saw a simulation fight on ESPN with those two. Oh, yeah. No, okay. I was thinking of Balboa, which is the one where Creed's son comes back. No, isn't Actually, that it's called Creed, right? Creed, yeah, and that's yeah. Suppo that's supposed to be great. Stallone was nominated for that. That was the big bounce back from Rocky Balboa. Oh boy! Uh. So I didn't see the end though. What happens at the end? He fights the guy. I you couldn't know. even tell you. You don't even know. I mean, I man. mean, that listen. You want to ask me about one, two, or three, or four? I'm in. Yeah, that you know man. what? That's like Star Wars. I stop at three, right? Return of the Jedi, and the other. I'm right there with you, man. You getting? But uh, well, th three was yeah, three was good. Clubber Lang, that, and then four was what the Russian, and then yeah, five yeah. was Tommy Gunn. T yeah, yeah, that's right, Tommy Morrison, right? Is that his name? Yeah, he died. Then, wasn't that also Rocky's son in that one? His real son? Rocky, yeah, his real son was in it. Yeah, he's a big jump and a shock on number five. <laughs> <laughs> so we had, by the way, I meant to tell you last week for Sadie's birthday, we have four girls sleep over, four girls, so it's five girls sleep over for the first time ever slumber party at the Corielli house. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and first of all, I got Sadie a karaoke machine for her birthday. Uh, the first one I bought, it was broken, right? So we had to send it back. The next one comes, she's not home yet. I open this thing up, dude. I was on this thing for like an hour and 15 minutes. I can't, you got to get yourself a karaoke machine. <laughs> it was, so, but anyway, we had a, they all slept over, right? We had this whole karaoke party and we did all this fun stuff. They had a blast, great kids, right? So then we uh, put them all, they're all going to sleep in Sadie's room. They all have mattresses, air mattresses and sleeping bags. And and you got Jackie got a great photo. We got five kids all in sleeping bags laying out on the floor. I actually said to Jackie, check out that bro, it's such a good one. I go, look at the floor. It looks like a sidewalk in California. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> exhausted though. You know, you're so tired. You're so tired, right? And and like, you know, Jack one of them had a brought a flashlight. One of the kids brought a flash. One of the kids brought a book. Have you ever? Can you? Wow. That sounds like something you might do. I'm going to read, like, just some something really adult, you know? Like, the kid's got a book because she says, if I can't sleep, I like to read, and she's got a flashlight. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> so then they all want flashlights. All right, so you do all that. You're so tired. Next thing you know, right? It's like uh, they all go to bed, and it's like 11 o'clock at night, and they've been there since 3 o'clock. And like I said, great kids. And they're all talking, and then you hear one getting a little upset. And then Sadie comes in and says, so-and-so's upset. She wants to talk to her mom, you know. And, <laughs> oh, man, that, this is where women just got that thing that we don't have. Because then a Jackie gets up. And go, cause I'm I'm ready to roll over and be like, you gotta be tough now, <laughs> yeah. You know? I, I don't know what the. But so Jackie goes in there, and one thing leads to another. Now every girl wants to call their mom, and say goodnight before they go to bed, uh, because they're a little nervous. Which is, you know, I get it. It's adorable. It's their first sleepover. But it's so funny, bro. How they all not not one of them goes, eh, mom or dad, either one, whoever you, whoever you can get on the horn. 
You know, it's fucking mom. I need my cause cause dad'll roll over and go, What do you what do you want me to you think I'm gonna start the fucking car and drive across town to get you you're gonna wake up tomorrow in your own bed, you're gonna be crying because they're all gonna be eating pancakes and you chicken to fire that's how we would talk. But the moms are like, Okay, are you gonna be okay? Do you want us to go? I guess not. Oh my I could never be a mother. Holy shit. I'd be like if this fucking phone rings again tonight, Sadie, if this phone rings again tonight, you'll never sleep in anywhere but your own bed until you're 18, all right? Because I ain't doing this shit twice. <laughs> <laughs> but they were great, though. They Wait were great. No, no, no worries about corona. You got five... Five girls in one room. Is the virus not even in Fredonia? Corona. I think we were mocking it, you know? Like they'd hug each other and go, oh, you gave it to me. I gave it to you. The fuck, Corona, bro. God, you got a better chance of getting smallpox. The fuck? <laughs> I'm to joke, people. Don't start tweeting me. Tell somebody in your life. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of this shit, right? Give me a fucking break. So, oh, God. So check damn. this out. What do you What's your take on this, right? I get an e a email last week, which is, I, I, this is admirable, man. I'm digging this, right? I get an email from the new head coach of the men's basketball program at Fredonia State University. And he goes, says something along the lines of, you know, I know uh, somebody, some of the uh, alumni that played here, I wanted to reach out to. I really want to have a relationship with some of the guys that played here through the years. I know you're getting over hip surgery. I hope that's going good. So the guy did a little research on me. I, I you know, I respect that. Uh, um, and he ends up saying, I'm moving in in July. And he tells me to block. He's moving in. Right. I, I look out my window. I look out my window. It's fucking, it's my block. It's the house for sale across the street. Right. Diagonally. So by the way, the one right next to me where I was showing the, the girl, they had a girl. They bought that shit, bro. Yeah, the woman bought it. She's like, we move in in late June. I can't wait for my daughter to meet your daughter. I'm like, not uh. as much as me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, right, the guy reaches out, nice guy, and I, I, the coach. And I plan on responding. I hadn't gotten around to it yet, some stuff going on. So then he, he sends out another email yesterday. I read it this morning. And, and this one is not, it's to me and a few other guys that played there. And he's starting a program where guys that used to play at the school, he wants them to pair each each player who plays at the school now up with an alumni, and they have and they form a relationship that lasts throughout the season. And the player has to contact me if I did it like at least twice a month via email or phone call. Can't just be a text because he says I want to. I want to teach them the importance of maintaining communication. And, and if it becomes something stronger and you want to be a mentor. <laughs> Frank, I'm fucking dropping the ball with my own kid, man. Now you, <laughs> you want me to, I quit. I was a junior. I was named captain and I quit. So who the fuck am I going to mentor? I thought, Why'd you quit? I, I wanted to drink more beer and play hoops interfered with drinking beer. So anyway, if you get that kind of call, like with your high school, to mentor one of the hot, uh, soccer players, uh, you, you went on that? <laughs> well, I mean, the way, the way this is going to go down, if you do commit to this, you could just see the poor kid talking to the rest of his teammates and the rest of his teammates going, yeah, no, my mentor, John, took me to a uh, New York Nick basketball game and he... He, 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 yeah. What is this, and, big, and then, big brother? And then they're going to go, uh, Timmy, who do you have? And he's going to go, I got I got Pete. I haven't heard from him in a month today. <laughs> and here's the craziest part. When we walk to the bars every Friday night, we walk right past Pete's fucking house. <laughs> My guy lives in town. And he doesn't contact me. <laughs> But don't you think I was in college? You were in college. If you got paired up with an alumni and you got to contact them, as the coach says, once a month, right? That's what he wants. At least once a month, his player has to reach out to their alumni guy. I would be the guy. It would be like, you know, May 30th. And I go, oh, fuck. I forgot to. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Is the shoe business going? Right? Like, it would be a chore. 
You know? But when I was well, in college, a 50-year-old man than me was a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Well, what if you were going to Georgetown and your 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 mentor was Patrick Ewing? Then let's do the program. That's my point. <laughs> this kid's meant to mow the lawn for 150 yards away from your <laughs> dorm window. <laughs> you ever see the guy limping on one leg mowing the corner house? That's that's your mentor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only guy who played D3 basketball and needed a hip operation before he reached 52. <laughs> That's my point. Even if I did get one of these kids, he'd be walking up to the porch. My own daughter would be giving a look like, bail, bail. I'm telling you. He don't even play with me. <laughs> oh. That's what that, we did. Uh, we did spend a lot of time together. Um, so yeah. So that. What else is there? Something else I wanted to tell you about. Uh, oh, bro. So, uh, Saturday, we got. We had a nice weekend together. And Saturday, we decide we only live like uh, forty-five minutes from uh, Pennsylvania. So we're gonna buy Sadie a new bike every every year. We go to Trek place. And we, we trade in the old bike and get our new Trek because she gets taller and shit. And we bike a lot. So we just want it. We don't do like, hey, it's your birthday. We'll get a bike. When she needs a bike, we get the fucking bike because we want to have her to keep up. So we're going to get her a bike. And then we're going to go to uh, this place in Pennsylvania with bike trails and bike. You know, so I got all the bikes on the back of the tile. Uh, I bring her bike. We bring it in. And the guy in the bike place literally has three bikes in this whole place that's always packed. And he's like, yeah, man. I goes, all those bikes over there, those used ones. He goes, I'm making my money right now fixing bikes. We have no bikes. They're not making any bikes without pandemic and everything. No bikes have been brought in. Even if you buy a bike, I won't be able to get you that bike until, uh, you know, next year. Crazy. Or next fall, some shit. So I go, what about this bike? It's a beautiful red bike that's Sadie's size. And he's like, that's my only bike left. And he goes, but here's the other bad news. My, my, my computers are down. I can't even take credit card. So you'd have to pay cash. And I'm like, How much? It's you know, 350 or something. So I go, all right, where's our cash machine? We want to buy that bike. So it's cash machine, drive through only. All right. Now, I, I don't normally do drive through. I get out of the car. I get out of the car, go in the bank. That's what I do. I get out of, go in and get my coffee. The fucking people living in their car seat, right? So I pull up in the Tahoe. I got all these bikes still on the back. And I, my back window, you know how you have that camera where you can look at when you're backing up? I can't yeah. see out of that because I got a blanket over it. And this is really, this is what Jackie drives the Tahoe. So I pull up to the, uh, I get up, it's my turn finally to, to roll down the window and put my card into the machine. So as I open up my wallet, I have two cards and one of them I drop. And it lands in between, it lands on the ground outside. But I can't open my door because I'm fucking pinned up against the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get my money out with the other one. But now I'm like, how do I tell the car behind me, don't come forward when I pull out because I got to get out of my car and get my fucking car and lay it on the ground, right? So I'm, I'm doing one of these, like the hand wave. And the guy behind <laughs> me is like, what the fuck is this guy doing? I don't know, right? <laughs> So I go, ah, shit, I'll drive halfway out and then I'll just kind of, I won't go all the way out so he won't come forward because I'm not all the way out. And then I'll just move to the side. So I go to do all that, bye and boom. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I'm so embarrassed. I put it in park, I get out, I grab the card. I drive straight to back to the bike shop. And I'm like, I know I fucked up the side of Jackie's Tahoe, but I don't know how bad yet. And I'm like, God, God, God. So I get up to the bike shop, I get out, that whole floorboard when you climb into the Tahoe with the chrome yeah. boom yeah. just shattered like big crush it like just tacky it just then fucked up fucked up part of plastic broke off then there's on the car door because I hit a yellow pole I didn't see oh god there's all yellow scraped up against the door uh, otherwise this is a nice Tahoe right now I said to Jackie you know, of course, she was really cool. She didn't get that pissed. I'm already in the process of getting it fixed. I was so embarrassed, right? Guy behind me is like, look at this fucking guy. He ruins his Tahoe to get his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> such, such an idiot, right? But I, yeah. said to, I said to Jackie, if I was like a, you know, a limo driver or an Uber guy who took guys to the airport in a polished up nice Tahoe, could I still use this? 
until I get this fixed. And, and we were both like, no way, right? Because even though the inside's still nice, the minute you pull up, even with a scratch, you, aren't you as a, as a, as a commuter like going to get driven to the airport, you're like, what kind of shithole am I getting into right now, right? I've had an Uber come to take me to an airport, and the driver's side was smashed in. I told the guy, keep going. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> now what you can because you just feel like white trash being in a dented uber like that like no i just feel like if this guy can't drive right right like i don't i don't know like after hearing that you think i want you taking me to the airport when you're clipping the yellow yellow cement poles and uh to get a credit card it yeah, shows me a lot about uh, the experience yeah. of the driver yeah well, uh, well bro i've driven in europe i drove in lebanon man i was in lebanon beirut lebanon i drove so come on i mean you know shit happens but nevertheless i agree you can't you can't pull up in a scuffed vehicle so yeah. that was pretty embarrassing man but that's that's the basis of uh what I've been going so, through. What, what do we do? Over an hour already without a single discussion about the, the world? I mean, just what kind of show is this? The show is it's just fantastic. It's a departure from everyday life, bro. It's not it about is. politics, civil unrest. This is about firefighting and buying bikes. It's, 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 it. it's, why, it's why people tune in. Now, you went back... To get the bike <clears throat> now they they do a trade-in where you get credit of the bike you're trading in to get a new bike yeah if you're really into biking these kind of bike shops you know you you your kid grows with them right so when she first comes in they measure a uh because i said to jackie i'll tell this to any parent out there it's worth it to pay the extra couple of hundred to get a good bike like a Trek, even when a kid's young, because those bikes are so much lighter. Remember when you were a kid, you go to ride a bike, you can't even pedal the thing. You're like, fuck this, let's play football or something else. So Wait, when you are, you are you pissing? No, no. What the fuck is that? Hold on. Oh, Jesus, he scared me. The fuck oh, we got to thank God. I got, I'm in the basement, you know, so I got all these pipes. So when people flush or something, you hear it come down the pipe, but it's actually raining outside, storming. I thought you, oh, my I thought God. You, I thought, I thought you one were of the pipes burst, bro. What? Bro, I thought you were pissing underneath the desk oh, into, no. a, into, your piss, into your piss can. <laughs> I haven't had to, but I do have it. <laughs> you know, you remember oh. when I showed you the video of my studio setup? Yeah, I, I told DJ Hank and Mark, who does the video, I go, when Sebastian says, I saw your video, your your setup, I go, cut to that. So when people watch the show on video, they can see the, the setup. The next morning I woke up and I said, don't, don't, don't put that up there because I don't want people to judge this show based on my setup, even though I love it. You know, some other people like Jackie came down there. And she, she didn't say what I thought she'd say about it. So I'm like, you know what? People don't, they don't need to see how the sausage gets made. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, so yeah. What, uh, what else did I want to? So, I, yesterday was actually the first time I went out and around people at the farmer's market, and it was outdoor. But I know why masked, this thing is. Masked up, though, right? I was. Uh, I wear a bandana. I look like uh, I'm gonna rob a uh, a stagecoach. That's that's the look I'm going wow. for. Wow. All right. All right. Not, uh, not one of those it's, typical bandanas like Scott Baio tied around the sty in Happy Days. Yeah. Oh my God. Are you serious? It, They're like a dollar, it's a, right? It, it's a black bandana, but it's got elastic in the back. You don't have to uh -oh. tie it. Oh, all right, all right. And, and it just hangs. It looks like, it, 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 you know, I know we talked <laughs> about the mask and, like, customizing the mask, but with sunglasses and this bandolero I got coming off my, my uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we went on our bike ride, we knew part of our bike ride was going to take us into town. So 
I I turn to Jackie and I go, I'm puking as I say this, but because I, I have the bike bag hooked up to the back of the bike, I go, but don't ask. I already got the masks in the side pocket in case we see a store and we want to go in. And that's what happened. We parked the bikes. We all got to put on a mask. A fucking <laughs> Wuhan fucking situation. Anyway, so, so what's up? How did you have a good time at the no, park? No, I, I, I know why this thing is spreading. I know right. why this thing is spreading. It's, it's the people. The people don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm yeah. sitting out buying strawberries, right? And there's nobody else at the strawberry counter. And the thing is a tent. You know how, like, they have the the the, the displays at a farmer's market. They have a yeah. long table of strawberries. Right. And I'm getting the guy telling, yeah, give me three bushels. And, uh, and the person come right next to me. Right next to me. Like, the, there's a whole area to go to look at the strawberry. This person come right next to me going, how much are the... Uh, I go, that's why uh, we can't get rid of the virus because you don't know how to fucking keep your mouth shut. No mask, right? And she's spitting all over the strawberries. Wow. So now you I know why. And what left? Did you did you did you really say that to uh, some version of that? No, I didn't say anything. I'm uh, telling you, this oh, is why. Oh. But uh, the guy's like, "How many bushels you want?" And I go, "I'm good." And I walked away. Like you ever, you ever, you ever do something where you hope the person gets it? Like, yeah. like I was, I was hoping that person would turn and go, "Oh, he probably left because I don't have a mask on and I'm spitting on the strawberries." You, you ever hope the person gets it? Well, yeah, yeah, but you know, sometimes some of these people like. Uh, to this point you make, and I go into Walmart, and it says you got to wear a mask to go in there. I, I go in there with my mask on. This se seemingly security is a dude right there, looking like he's gonna tell me to put it on if I don't. Then I go in, and there's like quite a few people not wearing them, and I'm wondering if these are people that have been tested and they're a. How do you pronounce that? Symptomatic. Yeah, and you know, once you're asymptomatic, you're like. <sighs> fucking superman and you know there's no kryptonite you got blinders on i'm like hey you know that you go home and, and deal what you gotta do i do what i want with the strawberries i'm asymptomatic baby and and i think the more people that test that way you'll be able to point them out they'll be walking with a confidence and a disregard <laughs> for the rest of us <laughs> no this 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 person that came up next to me believe me i think had more than coronavirus it's like one of the you ever you ever right, see right. one of these people who go eh is they ain't healthy, just on the look alone, you know. Right, the kind of person you ever look at them and go, if they're not dead, then I'm I'm good. <laughs> you know, until that guy dies, right? What the fuck? <laughs> I do that shit all the time. <laughs> if they're not dead, it's no oh. shit. So, but look to your point, and I'll end this part of it on this from my end at least. Are we out or are we not out? Because we're either out and we're out. Or we're out, but, you know, we're getting into disagreements over strawberries, and that's just one of a zillion, man. Everywhere I go, people are like, put on your mask, asshole. And it's like, you know, it's until it's, like, completely done or whatever, it's always going to be these situations. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I just rather stay, in the, stay inside and let me know when everything's back to normal, and then I'll come out, put my shoes on, and, and live my life. Until then... I I might have to go back to the uh, fire department this week, and and here's and I'll close on this. If I go back to the fire department, yeah, and the guys that were were there aren't there, and it's a new shift. Do you think I could go? No, no, I was here last week with the pizzas. Can I get on the rig? Like. Or do I gotta keep showing up with shit? Oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think you have to keep showing up with shit. I mean, uh, actually, I think if you showed up with shit a second time, they'd be like, "Come on, what is this guy? Like fucking delivery service? You don't have to bring." Yeah, I don't think you need to. You know what I mean? Do you think it's a little too soon to go back? Well, when are you going? I, th I think you go. I think take both kids, go, and just be like, hey, you know, guys, there's not much we can do. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take you up on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. 
Again, mask up or on the uh, were they masked up when they came out? I'm curious. No. Yeah. That's no like masks. You, even when we went in that store in Pennsylvania, when I came out of the store and I'm talking to Jackie and Sadie, they you know, for a while they had already taken their masks off. And after like ten minutes before right before we got on the bikes, I look at Jackie, I go, Oh my god, I had my mask on for like ten extra minutes than I had to. How fucking embarrassing is that? And she's like, Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. What the fuck? Like the if the second I have it on and I don't need to, I'm like, I whip that shit off. <laughs> go back. <laughs> if anything, bring pastries though. Don't bring uh don't bring yeah, uh, I'm bringing again. nothing. I'm not I'm not bringing anything. That's I'm just it. gonna bring my family and say, hey man, we wanna go on the rig. Can you pull it out? And and I see that they take the fire hose and they shoot it off the mountain. I wouldn't mind holding on to a fire hose just to see the type of pressure that thing gives. That would be pretty interesting to, to check it out. Yeah. Well, hey. Seems like you're gonna become a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ride your bike or is it on a hill? That's always a nice touch. I feel like we were just biking by. I figured I'd take you up on the Nah, uh, no bike. You get uh, clipped and get uh, killed. All right. Well, keep us posted, man. I will. There you have it. Pete and Sebastian show coming to you every week. Uh, share the show. Uh, we always have a good time doing this. Uh, so uh, just share it with your friends and family. We appreciate the listenership. And uh, we will see you here next week, people. Good hanging. Good hang. <laughs>